In this exercise, we're going to learn how to clean up uh, our drawing, uh, more specifically a bitonal drawing, um, a drawing that has uh, speckles all over it. So first what we're going to do is uh, insert an image. We're going to insert the contour.rlc image. And you can see that if you bring in a, um, an image, there are correlation um, files that you can specify. So these are geo-referenced images if you had uh, those geo-referenced files. There it is, to a zoom extent. And all these contour lines are actually um, raster images. So these speckles we see here, we're actually going to use this cleanup tool. Click on the pull down and despeckle. Click on that and in our command line uh, pick the window that you want to clean up. So I want to clean up actually the whole drawing and then uh, pick a speckle size. So I'm going to zoom in here this little area and notice you'll see all the speckles turn red in your drawing, in your image and when we hit enter that will get rid of all the speckle and that cleans up the drawing. There's another one. We're going to try to clean that up as well. Do the same steps. And there you have it. Next what we're going to do is convert these raster contour lines into vector lines. So we're going to come into the followers and then click on the contour following. And what we do is simply click on one of those raster lines and notice those uh, raster lines will turn blue. I'm going to continue this because uh, the raster is actually separated with that text piece of text there and I'm going to add the rest of that contour line uh, as a part of this vector line. And then finally specify elevation, so I'm going to put in 460, hit enter, and there you have it. You can see that change from a raster line to a vector, vector polyline now. We're going to do the same with all the other ones. So this does take some time, but again, enter elevation 470 and enter. So I'm going to do the same with the rest of these lines and specify their elevations. Okay, now I have all my contour lines turned into vector lines like that. And what I want to do is actually turn off my uh, or unload my external reference image and I'm going to go ahead and save some changes if there's any changes in there. And finally, all we're left with is uh, a vectorized image of that contour. 